Welcome back, everyone, to the Elder Scrolls Online. As we begin week three of our journey to find the best casual MMO. I don't know why, I just kind of like showing you all this screen, just because, I don't know, it's what I see. And, like, I think it's a little overwhelming, a little bit, because, like, I look at this and I'm like, a, a lead great. What the heck? This I get, right? This is a pet, I'm guessing. This, a mystery collection of Aelid, Aelid related items. To view. You thought you were going to last on the couch, didn't you, honey? <laughs> I told my wife I was going to record. She was like, well, can I turn the light off? I was like, yeah, that's fine. And then she proceeded to lay down on the couch and turn on her Kindle. And I thought, that ain't going to last. I didn't even get through the intro. I, I haven't even seen my character yet. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, what is that is awesome. What a cool mount. <sighs> okay, that's pretty rad. All right, let's carry on. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Really? All those coins for that? You put those in there, didn't you? You put those in there, didn't you? <laughs> Anyways, welcome back, Phil the Casual Kyle. It's good to see you uh, back in Tamriel. So what are we doing? Attend the Kin Ladies meeting. Right. But I've got Okay, I've, I've got other things on my map, though, that are shining. Where am I heading? Okay. So I need to go this way. That way. Got it. I see it on the radar now. So it's funny. So we're in week three. I haven't I haven't made any recap or thoughts videos yet. But I've I've already had a few revelations. And I don't want to give anything away here, but I do want to say I have just in two weeks of playing seven different MMOs. Use elegant outfit. Oh yeah, I gotta get dressed up. Yeah, looking sharp. <laughs> ah. Oh man. I need, I need, this needs to be a screenshot so while I, while I talk, uh, wait, was there, oh, that's actually, that's actually a nice angle to grab a screenshot from. Let me just go ahead and grab that. Can I hide the HUD? How did I hide the HUD in, ah, it was page up. Great. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're just going to use that as our screenshot. That'll be great. Uh, but yeah, I've learned a lot. And I think everyone, everyone who wants to play an MMO or does currently play an MMO should do this. And I look forward to doing it again. And I, I think I'm going to have to force myself to make the series as long as it probably needs to be, not as long as I want it to be, because like... I'm getting close to having my personal answers, but I want to dive deeper into each game so that I know them better. You know what I mean? What? Examine an end to isolation. Oh, oh, it's a book. Okay. Not in the mood to be reading papers. All right. Galmalor. Yes. And who might you be? <clears throat> I need to speak to Kin Lady Avanisi. The kin lady is currently engaged. She's holding a conference with Shimmering's elite to discuss certain political matters. I, I am aware of this. I am what you might call fashionably late. Hmm. Yes, so you do. And may I say that your outfit is suitably elegant. Uh, please, head into uh, the garden. Thank you, good sir. Can I just say, okay, like, Hill Dragon made a comment, uh, just made a comment, not long before I started recording on the last video, uh, saying that he's really enjoying the story. I am too. Like, it's, I, I like the characters. I like Roz. Like, he was a cool character. Roz kind of reminded me of, um, uh, Roz, you know who Roz reminds me of? He reminds me of, uh, oh my goodness, what's his name from Borderlands? Um, oh my goodness, what is his name? I have, that is, I cannot believe I cannot remember his name. He sells the weapons. Guns, guns, guns. I don't know, something about Roz. 
strikes me as him. But yeah, I think the story is great, and I think the story is helped by good voice acting, succinct storytelling, very efficient storytelling, uh, and I enjoy it too, and I, I've said this before, uh, because it's not a voiced protagonist. I can add my spin to it, and it's fun. Now, granted, that's more me being a YouTuber. I don't know that I would be saying lines out loud if I wasn't recording. We all have concerns regarding the Queen's decree. I assure you that I am working with all Dark Takala to safeguard the sanctity of Shimmerine and all of Somerset. Enjoy the food and drink. Business of the city requires my attention, but I shall rejoin you shortly. Okay. All right. Uh, talk to Kinlady Amnesi and talk to Aldark Til Tilkalar. Hello, Aldark. How bold of you. The Nebarad dares to stand in my holy presence. Very well, bold Nebarad. What can the new All Dark of Shimmering do for you? And please, try not to bore me or spray any spittle on my spotless vestments. Spray any spittle on my spotless vestments. I hate, I don't like you. Uh, Marcus, by the way, Marcus is the name I was looking for. Marcus! Marcus Munitions. Anyways. Uh, mm, yes, great. All dark Tilkalar of Shimmerine. I hear you and the kin lady have a plan for administering the Queen's decree. You heard that somewhere, did you? <laughs> I'll have to have a discussion with the Divine Prosecution about how lax our security has become. No, no, I jest. The kin lady and I have nothing but the best interests of Somerset and the newcomers in mind. Hmm, is that why you're sequestering newcomers and other non-high elves beneath the monastery? Hmm? You really are well informed uh -huh. about things here in Shimmerin, aren't you? Mm -hmm. For a Nebara. Hmm. Uh, yes, I'm sorry. Are you impressed? Is that that's that sounds like you're impressed? Uh, you keep calling me uh, Nebarar. What does that mean? You're right. Where are my manners? Yes. Using a word you couldn't possibly be expected to understand. How dare you spit that? It means that unwelcome. As unwelcome. In you are not welcome here. Well, I I was invited, but I see, I see. And is it common for high elf monks to conspire with Daedra? Don't make me say it louder. That's a serious accusation to toss around so casually. Mm -hmm. What did you say your name was again? I want to make sure to add it to the Divine Prosecution's <laughs> observation log. <laughs> For your own protection, you understand. Uh, hey, if you'll excuse me, Aldark Tilkalar, uh, I just remembered I, have, uh, I left the oven on. I suddenly remembered some business I need to deal with as well. <laughs> Feel free to <laughs> pester the other guests in my absence. I shall pester the other guesters. All right, we need to go talk to Kin Lady. Let's let it. Let's go act like we're talking to the other guest. Hello. How is your drink? Is it? Uh, is it wet? Good. Okay. Oh, and what is this? Hold on. I need to. How do I get this notification? Daily reward. Oh. I totally forgot about that. Okay. Wait, where is she? I'm confused. Is she up? Oh, she may be up. Ah, ha, ha, there it is. How dare you barge into my home without <clears throat> so much as a bio leave? <clears throat> uh, milady. Can lady. No, I refuse to deal with one of the Queen's guests, especially not in my own home. How did you get in here, by the way? No, never mind that. Since you found your way in, I assume you can find your way back out before I call the guards. Uh, why do you oppose the Queen's decree, if I may ask, before hastily leaving? <laughs> Such innocence. You really want to know why I oppose the Queen's order to allow newcomers to enter Somerset? Because I'm trying to protect both the island and the newcomers. It's in everyone's best interest that we maintain a separation. 
And the Aldark agrees with your efforts to protect the island and the newcomers? Aldark Tilkala came highly recommended. He has grand plans for protecting Shimmerine. Grand plans. Unfortunately, in my haste to deal with the Queen's decree, I may have made an error in judgment. Huh. An error, you say? Not that it's any concern of yours, but my Chancellor has been unable to verify the Old Duck's existence prior to when we met, and I recommended him for the position at the Monastery. I assure you, Kin Lord Millenthal praised Tilkala to no end. Mm-hmm. And were you aware that the Aldark's monks are killing the newcomers under the monastery? That's preposterous. Nope. Aldark Tikala sequesters the newcomers to ascertain their suitability for life in Somerset. Those who pass will find a place here. As for the rest, they'll be returned to wherever they came from. That's what we agreed to. All right. It sounds like you should see your see for yourself what's happening at the monastery. Just, just a recommendation. All right, talk to Raz. My lady, one of the monks had to deliver this message. It's from the Aldark himself. The Coral Forest. An odd location for a meeting, but I need to hear the Aldark's explanation. Oh. Ooh. Good roll. Good roll there, buddy. All right, gonna go back and see Roz. I do, by the way, I haven't shown y'all yet. I see you, Roz. Hold on. I want to show I want to show the people something. Um, where is... Mount is H. Okay. I So, uh, with this game, I did... I had, I had purchased it, like, the base set a while ago. And then I got a couple of... I got a couple of keys for, I think, two expansions from the developers to make videos, and I just never did. But then I, then I had... A coupon during a sale to like finish my pack with a pre-order of the new anyways so i got a mount by pre-ordering whatever this new one is that's coming out i don't even know but i got a mount and it is the ugliest mount i have ever seen in my life and it's not mounting because i haven't set it i don't think uh how do i wait not there here we go how do i set this where do i go for this i bet it's in collections maybe Collections, mounts, there it is, set active. <clears throat> now, I'm not going to use this because this would not be very casual and new player friendly of me, but look, look at how ugly this mount is. It is absolutely hideous. I. It's supposed to be mushrooms. It looks like flesh and cookies. It is so bad. Boy, they were, they were in a hurry. Anyways, I will not be using it. Also, <laughs> mounts in other games now, it just makes me miss Guild Wars 2. Guild Wars 2 has perfected mounts. That is, that is not something to be questioned or tested. There is no denying it. No game has better mounts. Pretend you are adjusting your boot or admiring the architecture. As oh. hard as it may be, look anywhere but directly at Raz. Right. Good. Good. Now, tell Raz what you learned at the Kin Lady's Manor. Oh, the Kin Lady believes that the necromancers are being sequestered and sent away. Hmm. Raz thinks Avanis is as naive as she is complicit, but she is not a murderer. This new Aldark, though, has so much blood on his hands, it looks like he's wearing red gloves. From what I could discover, he didn't exist before he came to Shimarin. Yeah, I overheard that the Kin Lady was going to meet the Aldark in the Coral Forest. <laughs> the Coral Forest? Hmm. A strange meeting place. Raz thinks we should go and see what the Aldark is up to. After I take back that outfit, I might need it again <laughs> later. Ah, you have a pretty admirer, my friend. The Sijic Sage, yes. Here she comes now. Oh, okay. Uh, let me find out uh, what Valserin has to say. I'm glad I found you. 
Oh, While hi. watching the King Lady's mansion, I saw her ladyship sneak out the back and leave the city. The King Lady is meeting the Old Dark in the Coral Forest. Raz smells something. Don't look directly at isn't Moon Sugar Biscuits. Your reputation precedes you, Eye of the Queen. I am Valserin of the Sigic Order, and I agree that the Aldark is more than a simple monk. We should work together, yes. But let's travel separately to avoid attracting unwanted attention. Raz will find you both at the Coral Forest. Whoa. <laughs> Where's your fancy escape, Roz? Alright, so we need to meet them at the Coral Forest. What? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No. Oh, oh, I'm switching quests there. Okay. Where am I headed? That way. Okay, let's take a look at the map. Or we actually we're actually leaving this section and heading south. Excellent. And you know what? While we're heading that way, let's talk to the stable master. And maybe see, can I set a waypoint? Oh, no, not like that. Set destination. There we go. <laughs> let's talk to the stable master, because if I can buy a mount, I will buy it and then use the, well, one of them. Whether it's the ugly one or the one I bought, I don't know. Because that seems to be a, a, a thing that MMOs are giving you sooner and sooner now. I remember back in the day, that was like end game. You finally got a mount, right? Or that's what it felt like to me anyways. But like Lord of the Rings Online, I got a mount at the end of episode two. Um, World of Warcraft, I just have to see a trainer. But I'm, I'm high enough level already at level 10. Stable Master, there you go. My mounts are good, and don't let anyone tell you any different. But if you'd rather walk than ride on an animal cared for by the likes of me, suit yourself. Okay, not a great, uh, <clears throat> not a great salesperson, are you? So, when your character has a mount set active, they can take riding lessons provided by the stable master. Okay, uh, okay, so, so you don't, oh, okay, oh, they cost a lot of money. At least these do. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Did I steal you? No? Okay. No no mount for me yet, then. Let's clear. Uh, there we go. And we're going to head south. Yeah, I'm enjoying this game. Um, I'm excited for the amount of content I have available to me. And I like I like this game's model. Uh, you know, it's it's a it's a you know, you buy the game. And yeah, there is a there's a very optional subscription. I don't think it's I don't I don't believe there's any major mechanical things hidden behind it. All right, remind me, what does, how do I get to skills? Is it K? K. This is molten, oh yeah, that's right. So that'll, zoom. excellent. Oh, should have dodged. I did not see the lines, which I actually, I actually kind of like that they're not like, Super obvious. Ardent flame increased to five. Excellent. Ooh. Storm's coming. <clears throat> Is there another one close by? Oh, yeah, he's very close by. Oh, almost got out of the way.
What is this runestone? Collect. Alright. One of Somerset's more unique environments, the Coral Forest. I used to love coming here when I was growing up. We need to find out why the Aldark asked Kinlady Avenis to meet him out here. How do we find the Aldark and the Kinlady? Based on what we saw in the monastery's undercroft, I'm hesitant to use magic to locate them. I suppose we'll have to find them through mundane means. <laughs> Too bad the Queen's spy isn't here yet. I understand he's good at this sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, he's probably out here somewhere, if I were to guess. Ross, where are you? Right, whoa. Reef Viper. Okay, he wasn't nearly as strong as I was expecting him to be. Yeah, this game tends to get a lot of uh, negative comments about its combat, and I could see, I could see it, I could see me eventually not liking it, and I could see certain classes maybe being boring, but I'm enjoying this one quite a bit, and I've played others, and they were fine. This is a really cool area. Oh, little babies! Let's not kill the little babies. Oh, the house looked like it was like a ghost house. Stone. No idea what these are. It said something about like crafting materials or something. Keep forgetting the molten up my weapons. Hold, hold left click to exploit, exploit, my bad. First I read it as right click, and then I saw that it was left click. Murder, that wasn't part of the plan, old Ark. Oh, you I hear. know nothing of the plan, you fool. Let me give you a taste of what the Prince of Bargains has in store for this pitiful world. Are they up there? Where are they? Your Prince, I want no part of Daedra. Help! Search the Coral Forest. Confront all dark. Oh, there he is. Come never Destroy these. Okay. Uh destroy the abyss. Oh, okay. Destroy the portal. Got it. Oh, E to destroy. Got it. Who keeps bedinging me here? What is this beding? Where oh, this way. Oh, I just gotta talk to her now. There you are. Yeah, I do kind of miss having a mini-map. Razumdar apprehended the Kin Lady. They're at the west edge of the Coral Forest. What happened to Aldark Tilkalar? Did he escape? Aldark Tilkalar is dead. I heard him mention the Prince of Bargains. I think we can conclude that Tilkalar wasn't actually an Aldark. At least, not with his connection to the Prince of Bargains' clavicus vile. Strange magic and creatures worry me, however. Hopefully, the pearl I sent to Arteum can tell us more. You think you can learn something from the pearl? You'd be surprised what a particular object can reveal if you know how to unlock its secrets. I need to return and tell Rightmaster Ikesis all that transpired here. If you're willing, I'd like you to come to Arteum and confirm my story. Who's, uh, who's this Rightmaster Lachesis? The Rightmaster leads the Sigic Order from Kapora Tower on the island of Arteum. This spell attunes you to a portal near Shimmerine in the ruins of the Keep of Eleven Forces. 
It always leads to Arteum, no matter the island's current location. All right, I'll go talk to him after I check in with Roz. One more adjustment and there, you are now attuned. Yay, thank you. Find me on Arteum after you finish with the Eye of the Queen. The rain could also be a bit amped up. Like I hear rain, but I hardly see it. Oh, there he is, right here. Ah, Five Claw. The King Lady and Raz had the most illuminating conversation. <laughs> You can't Queen Irene will be disappointed that the King Lady of Shimmerine allowed a false Aldar to murder so many newcomers. Such a scandal makes other travelers uneasy about coming here, yes? Yes, uh, the Aldark called on the Prince of Bargains before I killed him. The Prince of Bargains? That could only be Clavicus Vile. What oblivion-inspired nest of vipers has Raz stumbled into? This one has a very bad feeling about all of this. Where is the Sijic Sage? Raz would like to ask her what she thinks. Uh, she returned to Artium. Uh, she invited me to come and speak to their right master. The Sijic Order's interest in all of this concerns Raz Udar. This one has never had much love of magic or those that practice the art. On the other hand, now Raz has his own person on the inside. An eye of Raz, if you will, yes? <laughs> the assistant to the regional manager, if you will. Uh, or the assistant to the eye. Uh, Valserine said the Order would try to find out more about the Aldark and the Abyssal Pearls. Then you must go to Arteum and discover what the Sijiks have learned. When you return, you can tell Raz all about it so he can pass it along to the Queen. Yes, Raz likes this plan. In the meantime, Raz will investigate the Daedric connection. You know, Raz, you're very much a middleman in all this. Goodbye. And what say you, kin lady? Have you come to gloat? No. To kick me while I wallow in my own misery? Nope. Well, go ahead. I deserve it. How did you end up getting involved with Tilkalar? I met him at Kinlord Millenthal's party in Eleanor. We oh, had party. similar ideas about the Queen's decree, and I recommended that he lead the monastery. Somerset isn't a stew pot, and the various races aren't ingredients to be sprinkled in like so much spice. <laughs> so you knew he planned to kill the newcomers. What a hateful accusation. That's what it sounded like. Tilkala told me he was going to send them back where they came from. I had no idea he planned to kill them. I give you my word. I just wanted the newcomers to go away. And to find out he worshipped Daedra? How crude. Do all of the monks at the monastery worship Daedra? I certainly hope not. We'll have to get the divine prosecution in there to gather up the monks Tilkala brought with him to Shimmerine. We can't have Daedric cultists desecrating a holy site. I suppose I need to beg for mercy from the proxy queen. That would probably be for the best. All right. <clears throat> oh, excuse me start talking and suddenly everything appears in my throat. Alright, travel to Artium. Is that... Oh, okay. Got it. So we're not going back to the city. How is my inventory? Just curious. I've got almost half inventory space. We're good. I haven't even been checking. Am I, am I picking up any gear to equip? Oh, I am. Oh, whoa. I don't know when I got these. Excellent. All right, let's equip those. Ooh. Those are kind of slick. All right, so there's one loot. Um, forgotten Adventurer's Leggings. Not as good. It adds Magicka, but I don't need that. Not as good. Not as good. Oh, actually. Oh, but that adds Stamina. See, so... One gives me more armor, but the other gives me more stamina. Uh, and it is light versus heavy. Oh, but I am doing heavy. Let's, no, so let's keep that on. I'm going to remove that loot from my, yeah, from my tally. 
because I am doing heavy armor, and I think I get, I think I, I think I get certain buffs. Maybe, maybe not now, but I think eventually you get buffs based on wearing all heavy armor in here or something. Yeah. To okay. So you, yeah, you equip additional pieces of heavy armor to increase the skills advancement. So I, by wearing more heavy armor. I increase my heavy armor skill faster, and that's more important to me. Oh, we're going up there, it looks like. Oh, this is that house that are the building thing that I saw. What are you doing? Night Runner Raider. You know, I don't know. I, I think I hid nameplates, and I may have hidden too many. Like, I feel like maybe I'm used to in other MMOs where enemies have nameplates over them at all times. I think I kind of like leaving it off in the SO. At least so far at this point. I probably should have snuck up on that and great. Oh, that's just so cool. Let me look actually. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try turning them on. Yeah, name I have nameplates off. Pro oh, probably from taking a screenshot is really what it was. So enemies in, in yeah enemy NPCs always. I don't see any around. I guess. I feel like that's probably one up there. Let's go see. Yeah. Yeah, I do like that. I like that they they don't show up until much later. So what's this? A greenhouse. Looks like it. Mind your step there, stranger. These little beauties are as delicate as they are delicious. Oh, gross. Oh, gross. Get out of here. It's not a greenhouse. It's a bite old house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This isn't where I'm going. <laughs> Seriously? Okay, I was about to say. Yeah, jumping in this is not... Not great. Yeah, I don't know what that place is. Oh, hello. Oh, got some more. I'm sure at some point I'm going to regret not practicing blocking and dodging and stuff, but... Man, it's pretty. Oh, look at this. This is a great scene. Uh, go away. Go away, weapon. There's lots of pretty scenes in this game. Like, that's just oozing and begging to be explored, right? But we need to go... Where am I going? Oh, I thought I was going up there. I miscalculated. No, it's further that way. Okay. These good guys? Nope, they're bad guys. Oh, you were just fishing. I'm sorry. That was very rude of me. What are you up to? Looking at your map. Your friend's gonna come back and be very confused. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I really thought I was going up to that place. Oh, you're a cool creature. I don't want to kill you. You're really cool looking. Aha, going in here. Keep keep of the elven forces discovered. Okay. So where are we? So the town was out this way. We're southwest from the town, directly south of the way shrine, basically. There are enemies up there and out here. I like I also like with the with the abilities I have like they have a really very fast cooldown. If any it doesn't even say. 
There's a cast time on this one. I guess I came around the wrong side. Cause like, look, I'm just gonna spam it. I can just use it all day long. That is awesome. Here we go. shiny thing is over here, but I want to know. Sky Shard? What am I... What is this? Oh! Oh! Oh, yeah! The, 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 the thing! So I, I need to find more of those. Okay. Ooh, a collectathon. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, what, what are you dodging? Stop that. Alright, so we're going down here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Hello, good sir. Level 45. Looking pretty snazzy. Argonian. Writing in your journal. Pretty cool, you're pretty bright. There we go. Oh, he wasn't bright. The portal. It looked like it was a part of him. That's funny. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. The sun and the flare and the waterfall. The sound of the waterfall. Oh, this is great players here yes see this is what i want to see this is what i've been what are you this is so cool looking Give me a bit more music Okay, so where am I going to talk to right master? Look, 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 Lachesis. Lachesis. This is where, so where am I exactly? What? This is it. I'm just on an island. Is Was this where I was over here? What is this? I wish there was like a name on it. This isn't where I was. I have no earthly idea where I am. Artium. Yeah, it's like some... The Deadlands. Okay, yeah, so it's some distant island. Huh. This is really pretty. See, this is what you want in an MMO. Anyone, but especially, you know, I, I, speaking as a casual player, this is what I want. I want wonder. I want excitement in exploration. I want to go to a new area and be like, oh, sweet. I can't wait to spend the next hour or two here. All right, there's a way shrine. Let's go grab that. All right, we got it. Can I go to all of these? No, this is just, this is just this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, all of these, all of these. Like we can go to Cyrodiil. Oh, y'all. See, like I'm constantly wondering like, what is he up to? I also love looking at the players and their outfits and their mounts and like, I, I want to know what I have to look forward to for my character. You know what I mean?
us. Interesting. That combo. That's pretty cool. And there was no sign of Lathan. I don't know whether to be grateful or concerned. We'll find him, Val. Now go check on the pearl while I speak to our new guest. Uh, hello, uh, sir. Right, Master Lachesis. What a rare honor Valserin bestowed upon you. Only a select few not of our order have ever walked upon this sacred island. Val tells me your aid was indispensable in uncovering the false Aldox plot on Somerset. It just hit me. It's not Lachesis. That's an I. I could have sworn I heard her say Lachesis, but it's Ikesis. Or something along those lines. Uh, we discovered that newcomers to Somerset were being murdered to power the Abyssal Pearls. Unfortunate, certainly. The magic you describe sounds familiar, though I can't quite recall where I've heard of it before. I fear the pearls may be a harbinger of the threat Sothaseel warned us about. Sothaseel? What threat? I, I don't understand. Sothaseel, one of the living gods of the Dark Elf Tribunal. He's an honorary member of our order. After an attack on his clockwork city, he warned us about a Daedric threat to Somerset and Arteum. I sent Valserin to investigate. Got it. Is there anything more I can do? Indeed. But not until we finish studying the pearl Valserin brought us. There are mysteries to unravel, and Val believes you will be instrumental to our success. We can get started immediately. Unless you want to explore our island first. The next Please. step involves a thorough examination of the strange pearl you and Valserin recovered from beneath the Shimmerine Monastery. Hopefully, we can learn more about the false Aldark and the source of the pearl's magic. Alright, you can use magic to get the pearl to reveal all of that? We are the Sigic Order, friend of Valserin. There is very little we cannot accomplish through the application of the old ways. Every object remembers its history. The trick involves selecting the correct ritual to reveal those buried memories. Can I uh, do anything to help? While I head inside to begin the augury ritual, I'd like you to go to Sotha Seal's study in the tower, find my acolyte, Oriandra, and ask her for Sotha Seal's amplification elixir. We may need it if the pearl proves to be resistant to our magic. I'll find Oriandra and get the amplification elixir. Amplification. Amplication? That should be a word. Amplification elixir. All right, so, uh, sweet. We're in a whole new area now, I, which I find kind of interesting because, like, I was expecting to kind of explore more of Shimmerine, um, or Somerset, I mean. Like, I didn't even get outside of Shimmerine, which is interesting. I Like, you would think it'd be like, hey, let's go around here and do stuff in here. And maybe I could have. I mean, I know I could have. Uh, but, I, you know, this is one of those games that I kind of like just going along with whatever they're sending me to do. Uh, if there are side quests, I'll grab them. Like, I have the one to talk to, to Lyrian, but I was... The, the, the thing I like to do is, like, if the main quest is interesting me, I'm gonna do it. But if there's side quests, and, and they kind of, like, you know, will kind of help me flesh out the world a bit, and maybe the main quest isn't really uh, gripping me at the moment, or maybe I feel like I want to grind a little bit and level up before doing it, then I'll do the side quest. But, uh, but anywho, I'm enjoying this. This is great. I, I enjoyed this, this, uh, this play session. This was good. So thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow back in Final Fantasy 14. Audio. Oh, wait, I forgot. In, uh, among all of that, I had a level up, I believe, didn't I? No, oh, I'm very close. Oh, I'm so, I'm literally one XP away from a level up. Can I just kill a deer? That... That didn't give me any experience. Uh, please, I need something to kill for experience. I'm so close. I'm so close. Please. <laughs> I'm blaspheming Artyom. If I cut a tree, will I get experience? I didn't even know I could cut trees. Oh, please give me something to do. Is there anything here? There may not be. This may be like a peaceful... Oh, oh, I bet you might. 
No, maybe not. Insect parts. Down at the water, surely. Surely. Ah, ha, 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 ha. down here. Oh, I bet I could fish, but I don't have a fishing pole. Ooh! Ooh, a chest! Oh! Oh! Oh, I gotta do this one, maybe? Okay. Oh! Oh, that did it, though. Iron Great Sword of Frost? I mean, I want to use axes. Oh, okay. Character work now. Okay. Ooh, two attribute points and two skill points. Okay, great. So, uh, let's claim that. Ah! All right. Help. Let's do help. And Damn it, my magic has been fine. Okay, and we get two skill points. And I saw something that I could, like, morph. Something. Stone fist. What is this? Okay. Oh, choose an ability to morph stone fist. Cost one skill point. Okay. So, obsidian. So, this is... Crush the earth beneath you, beneath you. Okay, this is the, this is the the one I love. Okay. Stone fist morph, obsidian shard one. Slam an enemy with molten rock, uh, dealing 844 flame damage and causing the rock to explode, splashing magma around. You then pull back on the magma to heal yourself or up to two allies near the enemy. new effect converts to a magicka ability that now heals you or two allies okay but then there's stone giant crush the earth beneath you dealing physical uh, area damage okay activating the ability again allows you to launch okay so this doesn't change it as much new effect enemies hit are affected with stagger causing them to take bonus damage from all attacks this is the way i want to go as cool as this sounds but it switches it to Magicka. I want to stick with Stamina. I've been putting points in Stamina. So let's go with that. So Stone Giant is ready to be morphed. We morphed it. Great. Um, that is not ready to be morphed. Uh, Lava Whip is ready to be morphed. I love this idea. This is great. Uh, so Molten Whip. New effect. Splits the cost between Magicka and Stamina. While slotted, your other Ardent Flame abilities... Um, Increase the damage of your next Molten Whip. Ooh, okay. I'm not using any other Ardent Flame abilities, but I likely will. Uh, this one's new effect. Targeting off-balance or immobilized enemies grants you a more powerful attack, which deals... Increase. So I don't, I don't know that I have anything that's doing off-balance or whatever. Let's split between Magicka and Stamina. I think that sounds pretty cool. Um... Oh, this says advised morph. So th this is the advised one. Um, well, and you know what, though? I I kind of want to keep it all Magicka because I'm splitting it myself kind of just by doing some for each. Targeting off balance or immobilized. I guess staggered is probably off balance or immobilized. One of those two. So, so if we do... Right, so in theory, if we do Stone Fist, sorry, Stone Giant, each, so it says each hit applies Stagger. Is that, it, does that include the initial attack or is it just the, the throwing of the orbs? I'm wondering. I'm not positive. Okay, cool. I'm glad we did that. Thank you for watching. Adios, goodbye.